Um, this is Mosharo Bhushan. I am uh, still in active in HR job. Uh, I am one of the senior most HR professionals in Bangladesh and maybe in Asia. Uh, uh, Rita is right. I have been in this job for 40 years, not only in Bangladesh, uh, working throughout the world. And I travel more than 100 countries. So I have a pretty long experience. Let me share a bit of my profile so that I know who, who am I. Can you see my slide? Is it visible? Yes. Okay. So I'm giving you some overview of the HR uh, business partnering. So this is my brief profile. Uh, I did my master's in HR uh, from University of Calgary. I was supposed to stay and take the citizenship in Canada or somehow. I did not like, I returned home. I did my PhD in HR from India. I have about 40 years of experience. Currently, I am the head of HR of ICDDRD, which is the number one international organization in the world involved in the health and population research. Now, I have received a lot of awards in my life and and uh, but some notable awards are lifetime achievement award and the global nature leader award from malaysian institute for human resource management i don't know whether you are aware if anyone from malaysia you probably know i am ihrf i'm the current president of the hr federation in bangladesh i'm also the current president of the institute of personal management in bangladesh uh, I was the past president of the Asia Pacific HR Federation for five years. I was also a past president of Bangladesh Society for Human Resource Management. Also the board member of the World HR Federation for five years. And I teach HR in a few leading universities in Bangladesh, Somalia, Canada, uh, and Papua New Guinea. So I'm still teaching, I'm still working. So I'm doing a lot of lecturing. I'm supposed to go to Malaysia uh, to speak in Asia HRM conference on 18th of November next month. So this is what my brief introduction about myself. So if you see that I, I have the right education, I have the experience also and I teach. So basically, I'm the HR person. Most of my life I spend in HR. I have friends almost all countries in Asia because of my presidency for five years. I traveled most of your countries more than one time. Okay, so this is my brief introduction. So let's see. This is a taxi from India. It's not a mere taxi. I have a brief video clip. Sound may, may not be go good, but you have a subtitle. I would like to request everyone to see a two minutes video and then we'll So what is your reaction? 
Any reaction after seeing this video clip? Anyone? Something unusual or something uh, very, very, not maybe new. <laughs> Some, yeah, it's something like uh, everything is in there. So you think that it's, uh, why, I'm thinking, why? Is it, Yes, sir. But why he has arranged everything in text in 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 auto 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 rickshaw? Um, I think he wants uh, every everyone who will be on that um, car would be happy or would be satisfied. So you exactly provide them everything. You see, uh, he for the customer convenient. Uh, he has arranged everything. It's not a mere traveling. You can still work while you are on taxi. And this is not something very rocket science. This is a mentality. This is a realization of the customer's needs. Uh, this is the empathy and sympathy to the customer. Uh, you have seen that he, have all, he has all the facilities starting from you know, amusement to work, everything is there. Newspaper, television, laptop, tablet, Wi-Fi, everything is there. And what do you think in terms of business, whether this taxi driver will make more money, more satisfaction of the customer or same? like other other taxi drivers what do you think i think for this one for customer i would choose um his kind of transportation because example if you are in an hour uh road trip of course you want to be not just uh sleeping or not doing anything and then you want to entertain yourself so at this is like something like that i would choose that so if you have a choice to make, you will take him. Yes. Okay. If you have no choice, then nothing to do. But if yes. you have a choice to, if you have a choice to make, you will choose him because you have all the facilities available. Even if you are one hour in the taxi, and still you are productive, you are yes. effective. Because you have yeah. Wi-Fi, so you can work. Or even if you have to. Stop yeah, yeah. He has he has Wi-Fi. Even if you have no, you know, a laptop. He will give you his laptop and you can connect Wi-Fi and you can go to your Google Drive and get connected with your own resources. So he his services appeal very much to the younger generation and also all of us who are professionals because he has got everything. We can stay connected, can work and even, you know, um, have fun during the journey that we're going to go to. And you know, there was a time we used to work eight hours and 16 hours, no connection with the office. But those days gone. Now <laughs> we are working 24 seven, unless we are sleeping. So with this kind of situation, uh, this kind of facilities works very well. So why I have showed it, this is the real, this is a picture from the Tamil Nadu state of India. And this is somebody who has planned and he become very, very popular. And this is the sign of customer services. So for your customer services, if you have a wish to serve the customer. So let's take the message. If this taxi driver is concerned about the satisfaction and comfort of the customer, why not HR? We are also customer serving department. We have our internal customer and we have our external customers. And we need to serve out of box to our customers, internally and externally. What do you think? Is it necessary to serve our customer out of box for internal customer and for external customer? I did not have your introduction. I presume that many of you are working in HR. Am I right? 
All are working in HR? Yes. Okay. So I also work in HR. I work in uh, all the subcontinents. So I know what is going on in the world. I worked in Canada, USA, Australia, a uh, lot of Asian countries, Russia, Africa. I have seen everywhere HR needs to serve the customer. And the ordinary service is not sufficient. We have to create out of box HR services to our customers, line managers. Okay. So, do we create value by partnering with the business unit and customer who serve and does not value? And, and does that value have a direct impact quantified business object? Is a question to you. Do we create value? It is better if you have some participation, it's better. Do you think that we create value to our customer? They value us or they are just not happy or average. If we don't add any value, we have to create value. We, we cannot have uh, just exist and not adding value. We have to bellow even, even where there is less scope. You see my picture, no scope. This is very dry trees, but still something is happening here. Many, many people argue that HR has very limited scope to add value. I disagree with that. HR has a lot of value to add. In the business. So let's see what is the evolution of HR in this part of the world. I have taken the uh, example of Asia. If you see from uh, 19, uh, 1892 current, what is the situation and what is the evolution of HR? in terms of value impact contribution to the business. Our journey started with welfare officer with a limited value addition. And then labor manager or officer